publisher of the Hartford Business Journal, proud to represent our team here today and to welcome you all. We really are excited about the content that you're about to hear. And uh, let's get on with the show. And now, it's my great pleasure to introduce Roger Ionetta, Cox Business Director of Marketing and Product Development to the stage. So good morning. On behalf of Cox Business, we're excited to co-sponsor the Hartford Business Journal Social Media Summit, which evolved out of feedback received from the eMarketing Summit held earlier this year. Now, it is also my pleasure to announce our keynote speaker, Amanda Nelson. Amanda is a community content manager at Radiant 6, a Salesforce.com company. She has been in advertising for over eight years for full service and interactive advertising agencies in New York and Connecticut. Amanda has worked on a number of brands, including JetBlue, Atlantic Records, Connecticut Light and Power, Twinings Tea, and Liberty Bank. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. I hope everyone's doing well. It's great to see everybody today. Um, yes, I'm Amanda Nelson. I'm a community content manager at Radiant 6. Radiant 6 is the leading social media monitoring company, and we are owned by Salesforce. Now, here's an example of engagement. Peter Shankman's big social media guy, you might, have know, you might know him, he's like over 180,000 followers or something like that. He was traveling conference to conference and he tweeted, I, man, I could really go for a Morton's steak right now. And Morton's saw the tweet come in and so they found out where he was traveling to and when he showed up at his, at his destination, there was a Morton's employee with the bag and the steak. And what does that do? This guy's got 180,000 followers. You're right, he's gonna tweet that. And he's gonna blog about it. So does it change your bottom line? Does it go to ROI? Maybe not, probably not. But what does it do? It's brand exposure for just delivering a steak. So try to think creatively when you are engaging. And yes, I use that Chick-fil-A example, but 90% of the time, it's not about you. It's not about promotions. Leave that to the TV, to the radio, to your traditional media. Only 10% of the time should there be an applicable social media promotion. The rest of the time, you're listening, you're engaging, you're asking questions, you're talking, you're sharing content, and that's only gonna deepen those relationships. So in summary, community, being part of a community is a great way to get to know your customers, your prospects, it's a way to deepen your brand relationship, get your brand out there, deepen brand appeal as well, and ultimately you might get some foot traffic. Thank you. We have three different sessions today, uh, a 9 o'clock uh, starting time, a 9.55, and a 10.50. Uh, they are in four different flavors, so we have four different tracks of content. The first track, uh, which is in the Massachusetts room, uh, are workshops that will relate uh, to owners and executives of companies. Uh, the second track, which is all happening in the Rhode Island room, uh, will relate, uh, generally that content was built for in-house marketing professionals. The third track, which is in the New Hampshire room, uh, is content that relates and was built for uh, sales professionals, sales and business development folks. And then the fourth track in the Vermont room uh, was built uh, with agency professionals in mind, so people who are doing uh, advertising and PR work uh, in the agency uh, world. So again, we encourage you uh, to take part of as much of this as you can, uh, engage with people who are like-minded, and, uh, and take as much out of this as you can. We do have uh, three folks that were in the workshops today that we'd like to invite up to the stage uh, to join us and, and kind of take a few minutes and reflect about uh, some of the things that they learned and, and what they're going to do. So uh, without further ado, let me introduce the three people. We have Jackie Houghton from the Better Business Bureau. Please come to the stage, Jackie. We have Richard St. John from Hobby Time Distributors. Richard, please join us. And we also have Liz Piacentini from Goodman Speakers Bureau. Liz, please join us. So I got some great ideas in terms of you know, finding our voice um, in social media. And I want to bring that back. And we're actually starting a committee to, to 
start discussing this today, so I look forward to doing that. So I'm hearing the number one thing for you is finding a voice. Yes. Excellent. Okay, cool. And um, how about for you, Liz? Today was a wonderful opportunity, and I found it both informational as well as reassuring. And it was certainly a venue that provided several takeaways for me to go back and, number one, really kind of look at the frequency and the importance of doing more activity blogging and putting more effort into really maintaining a set schedule on that. Cool. Excellent. Thanks, Liz. And how about for you, Richard? What were your takeaways? Yeah, I, I think for me, you have to understand where I'm coming from. My Facebook page is not quite 24 hours old. Okay, <laughs> so this is, this is very, very new for me. Um, when I, we returned to our office, like I said, we brought a staff of four. We will meet and discuss and review and see how uh, what we've all learned fits in with any potential future plans. Um, you know, I think that one of the questions we've asked is, you know, how do we view the slides afterwards or speaker notes and whatnot? And just so you all know, uh, we'll be posting those on our website um, and the easiest access will be through our e-newsletter, which goes out every Monday. We'll provide a link on that to all the speaker slides and all the content. Again, we appreciate all of your participation today. We're here for as long as you want, uh, and we really do hope that you connect with uh, uh, at least a couple of people on the way out, make, uh, make the day real worthwhile. So thank you all, thank the speakers, and thank our panel.